EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with your Outlook for June 9th, 2023. You'll have to excuse me, I'm coming down with a little bit of something cold or something going on in my throat here, but the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated business with two locations in the Lehigh Valley region. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street. And their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week and have a full draft menu between the two locations and have many varieties available for takeout, including new beer releases just about every week, along with local wine, local wine and cocktails. And they have trivia nights every week at both locations. For more information about upcoming events, please visit their Facebook page or to place on our online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So uh, we have a lot of haze, smoke, that kind of thing over the last couple of days. It will still be around today, one more day, uh, but I think it's going to be moving out after that point. So today we have a little bit, and it's not going to be as extensive as what we saw even yesterday. Yesterday turned out to be pretty nice across the region. Uh, the forecast for today is actually even little, even less than what it was showing yesterday. So I don't expect this to be a big issue except for maybe a little bit elevated more so in central PA today. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we do have an area low pressure that's sitting uh, over New England right about here. And it's going to be rotating a few showers around that uh, low today before it departs. And that's going to give us uh, some areas, especially in central PA, the opportunity for a few showers today. So let's get over to the... High resolution rapid refresh first. This is looking at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see where the concentration of the haze is. There's just going to be uh, areas further east will not really be seeing too much. Just a, maybe a slight haze and that's it. Uh, but this is mainly a central PA deal today. And then we go through the course of the morning. It's going to drift off to the south and east and head toward the Dalmarva. And then that's it. Once we get into the overnight, no issues there. And Saturday, no issues either. Okay, wind direction is going to be a different direction on Saturday. Uh, so and the other thing about that, the source region for the fires is in uh, in Quebec, and that area this evening is getting uh, some steady rainfall. So that hopefully that helps out with the wildfires in those areas. We don't have to deal with us again next week, okay? Uh, but either way, Saturday is going to be a different uh, wind direction, so we're not dealing with wildfire smoke here on Saturday. Okay, as far as the precipitation today, here you can see those showers rotating through. It's mainly an interior event here on the European models. We get over the NAM High Res Future Simulated Radar. I'm going to start this off at uh, noon today. Nothing yet, but once we get in the afternoon, you see a few pop-ups, uh, pop-up showers here. And the main concentration is going to be up here across uh, the northern part of Pennsylvania and kind of diving down to the southeast like this. Okay, so there are going to be a few pop-ups, a few spots uh, out ahead of this. You can see a few of these that are popping up ahead of it, but that's it. Okay, so a few popped up is ahead of it, but the main batch is going to be northwest Pennsylvania moving southeast. So and there, there's a few isolated showers there, and then when we get through the course of the afternoon, this is already 8 p.m., and uh, it's only made it down here at this point to here. Here's where that trough is coming through, and you can see that moving down to the south and east. Uh, there could be a thunderstorm involved with that too in a few spots, but uh, I don't expect anything to be severe either way. And as, as this continues off to the south and east during the course of the evening, it kind of falls apart. So um, Phillies are playing the Dodgers here this evening here in uh, South Philadelphia. Uh, I don't expect any anything that would be delay-worthy or cancel-worthy here. It looks like a stray shower here during that time frame uh, during the course of the evening, and that's it. But, uh, you know, the rest of the region, especially in the interior here, as we get across north-central PA, parts of central PA, maybe northeast PA, have the best chance today to see some of those showers rotating through the region, and that will be done by uh, the evening hours as this falls apart. I can't even stand hearing myself with this choked up thing I got going on here. And anyway, so move, <laughs> moving forward here, apparently I'm getting sick. Hopefully I'll be able to do Saturday's video. We'll see. Uh, as we move forward to Saturday, we're expecting a mostly sunny sky, and uh, temperatures are going to be increasing. So today's 68 to 74 is the temperature spread. As we look go into uh, Saturday, it's 76 to 82. So we start re rebounding in temperatures a little bit here on Saturday. And again, mostly sunny skies we're expecting on Saturday. Partly cloudy here on Sunday. Uh, originally looked like it was going to be clouds in the morning, giving way to or sun in the morning, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. It's now a partly cloudy day throughout the entire region here on Saturday. It looks like this front is going to be delayed enough that we will have a partly cloudy day and a very warm day here on Sunday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for highs uh, on Sunday. So a very warm day Sunday. And then we have this uh, cold front moving toward us. 
And uh, this is looking at uh, overnight uh, Sunday night and really nothing really getting into this region. Maybe a spotty shower uh, as this is approaching the region. But the main batch of this comes through here on Monday afternoon overnight and into very early Tuesday morning in, in our eastern areas. Okay, so this will be much needed beneficial rain right now. Early estimates are anywhere between a half inch and an inch, but we'll continue to follow this over the week, uh, next couple of days here to see what we're dealing with as far as quantitative precipitation. I'll have an update for that that for you again on Saturday and uh, Monday when we do the next video because it will still be early enough. Uh, Monday morning when I'm doing this video, this won't be hitting yet. Okay, so we'll have an opportunity to look at what we're dealing with in terms of a, a fine, you know, final firm numbers of what we're expecting for this system coming in. Hopefully it holds and we have a decent amount of rain come through with this. We don't need a deluge of rain. I know we are behind considerably. We don't need it all at once because then you have runoff, right? So if we get a steady soaker that goes through the night uh, later in the afternoon on Monday through the overnight into very early Tuesday morning, that's going to be beneficial. It will soak in and it's much needed. But well, whatever we can get out of this, the better. And more we get out of this, the better. But uh, if it's a half inch to one inch, that's a that's a decent amount from this uh, this cold front. Once it moves through, we have uh, clouds giving way to sun here on Tuesday, uh, and maybe the early morning shower in our eastern areas. And then we have this still have this upper level low that has to swing through here on Wednesday. Could provide a few showers again, mainly our northern areas, but we'll fine tune this once we get a little bit closer to. Either way, it doesn't look like a big deal. And then once we get to uh, Thursday in the wake, of this we're back to partly cloudy skies to end the weekend. Temp temperatures very seasonable as we go into the uh, week next week. Uh, next week looks very very near average stuff. Nothing really too crazy or too far from average. So, um, you know, we'll look at this system here coming in on uh, on Monday here in the next couple of days and see what we're dealing with as far as rainfall. But haze is not going to be an issue. Um, not really today either, but I mean, once you get past today, it's nothing, okay? So if you're done, if you're sick and tired of the the haziness and the, the smoke and all that nonsense from Quebec, that's just about ready to wrap up in this region. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 9th, 2023. Have a great Friday.